Hey y'all, it's Ari back again with another video. And you know my video wouldn't be started off right if I did not promote my website. If you see anything you like, then look down in the description box below to click my link. I have reflective tops, windbreakers, cute crop tops, summer dresses, cardigan and legging sets, onesies, custom necklaces, all type of stuff. So if you see something that you like, head to www rsexclusive.com and get you some exclusive shit period okay yesterday is when all this stuff really stemmed from yesterday was nba young boy's son tay tay's birthday and he posted him on his story all the drama started right there because everybody was like he always posts all his other kids but he does not post jania's son why doesn't he post jania's son that's so weird He's showing favoritism. Why doesn't he show the same love to all the kids? This is what was said in the comments and on Instagram and all the other. Now, after the party, Neil went live and everyone was asking, was he there? We see he posted him on his story. And she was like, look, all he did was post him on the story. He didn't buy him nothing. He didn't pay for his party. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. And none of his people showed up. The only person who even came to the party from his side was NBA Youngboy's friend, 3-3. And she was like, shout out to him and all the other stuff. I can't play it because she had music playing in the background. You know, that's a copywriting fragment. But yeah, I do understand why Neil would be frustrated because all NBA young boys, people stay in Baton Rouge. That's where they stay. It would have been no problem for them to stop by at the party. I honestly think that Sharonda was still in Cali with NBA young boy. That's why she didn't go because I remember she went live and she said she always tried to be there for all of the kids events. I do agree with some of the people in the comments who said that they should have kept this offline. Well, Nia should have kept it offline because at the end of the day, we don't know, y'all. This is just entertainment for us, but that's y'all real life. Don't mess up what you have going on in real life for the people on the internet. Now, all that was yesterday. Let's talk about what happened today. Now, this morning, Sharonda, who is NBA Youngboy's mom, posted this on her page. And when I saw this, I knew I saw somebody who had wore it before, but I wasn't sure where I saw it or what she was talking about. I just figured that it was just a funny post, and I left it at that. Then all the T-pages on Instagram started posting, and I'm like, that's where we saw this from. Nia wore that outfit a couple months ago, but I don't think that NBA Youngboy's mom was trying to be funny. I think that she saw that somewhere, and she just stole a post. Everyone steals posts. I do not think she was trying to be funny towards I Nia. honestly don't feel like she was trying to be funny. It was just something that she saw. Everybody steals statuses all the time. It's nothing new. It's always been done. It'll always be done. It wasn't even that deep. So I really feel like the fans created this mess and then both of them took it around with it. But Sharonda said if she had to say and she left it alone, Nia was going on and on and on and on about the situation. Where it must have got back to Nia because Nia went on Twitter and said, now her old butt better find somebody else to play with before I bring Tanya out. A he, 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 that. If y'all don't know, Tanyetta is Nia's mom, and Nia's mom and Sharonda used to go back and forth. Something crazy. They used to be so tough, it was sad. If you go on YouTube and you look up NBA Youngboy's mom and Nia's mom, you'll find so many videos. They used to go at it like cats and dogs, okay? Word must have got back to Sharonda because she made another post. I'm going to read it how she said it, okay? I know how to read they don't know how to type. She said, girl, oh God, I don't follow you. That post was not about you. And saying who? I know nobody other than my children, not even you. The caption said, I was not even talking about her. I don't know what clothes she have and don't have. Sorry. Nia said, I'm with all the BS today. Y'all gonna stop playing with me when I ain't been messing with nobody. And I mean nobody. I ain't been being messy, shady, petty. I honestly been living and trying to get stuff together for Tay birthday month. So don't play with me. Now, here's why I said Nia just went on and on. Because after Sharonda already said that she was not talking about you and basically that you let the fans gas your head up, Nia should have left it alone. I don't feel like Sharonda was talking about her. They only think that Sharonda was talking about her because Nia said that he didn't do nothing for her birthday party. But all the baby mamas say that he don't do nothing for the kids, really. And Sharonda never says anything. She lets them have their relationship with Contrell, and then she has her own separate relationship with her grandchildren. Nia said, if you want to take it there, we can, because all honestly, while you posting like you the best Momo, when the last time you seen Tay-Tay spoke to him? 
You don't know if he dead or alive. You only see him growing up through Insta, a social site, but you love him. How? Oh, I forgot you don't like me, so it's F Tay Tay until I kiss your ass. That's dead. After she posted that last tweet, she posted one more thing and said, block, 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 I'm done. Now, after deleting all that, Nia did go live and admit that she did jump the gun a bit instead of checking all the facts out first, and I'll go ahead and play that clip for y'all right now. The only thing I seen was she said that with my picture with it, and I'm like, because at first they made it seem like it was my picture with, the, like, it was my picture because I don't follow her, I don't see what, she, I don't know what the fuck she posted. We don't. She actually blocked me, so... With that situation, that's why I reacted like that. But once I really digged in it and seen like she wasn't she wasn't talking about me, then I left the shit alone. That's why I said I'm done with it. I even deleted all the shit I said. Like, I mean, I ain't taking nothing back. I'm not gonna apologize, but I took the shit. I'm, I ain't saying it. Cause she, she could have been talking about me. She could have been talking about somebody else. Who knows? I ain't, but I don't push it past nobody. Okay, y'all, that's all for this week on Keeping Up with NBA Youngboy. Don't forget to go to the description box below and click on my website, www.reisexclusive.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Do not forget to comment below and let me know what you think. Who was in the wrong? Was Sharonda really talking about Nia? Did Nia overreact? Should they have brought this to the internet? Let me know how you feel. <laughs>